Hello and welcome to this video. In this tutorial, we will be looking into how to set up and use Credly. Credly is a badging platform that works with credible organizations to recognize, manage and share professional achievements. The first thing we want to do is go ahead and create our account. To do that, we can go ahead and head over to the sign in page. From here, you want to click sign in, which will open up a new tab for us. Once on the sign in page, it will ask you to sign in using your email and password if you have previously created a Credly account. Most likely, you won't have a Credly account created. So therefore, you want to go ahead and head over to at the bottom where it says create account. From here, we can now register and set up our new Credly account. To do so, we are going to go ahead and enter our details in, such as our first name, our last name, and our email address. This email address is going to be your organization email address. In this case, it will be our university email address. You want to then go ahead and select your country and then set up your password. Final thing before creating account is we need to agree to the terms and service and the privacy policy. So go ahead and just click in this box here to tick it. Now you're ready to create your account. Our new Credly account has now been created. Now we need to check our email address for a verification email to confirm our email address. Once you do, you should be able to log into your newly created Credly profile. Once we have registered our account and have verified our email, we can go ahead and go back to the sign in page. From here, we're going to go ahead and again enter our email address in. And our password. And click sign in. This will then take you to your Credly profile. You can see that your newly Credly profile will look something like this. This will be visible to others and is a public profile to showcase your achievements. Any badges that you earn will be displayed on your Credly profile for others to view and see your achievements, like so. To go into your account settings, you can go ahead and click on your user icon in the top right hand corner and head over to settings. From here, you can see that this account has been set up with my university email and my personal email. So you can add more than one email to this account by clicking add an email address, which will add a secondary email address to your account. If you previously had a Credly account and you want to merge it with your new current account, you can go ahead and click merge an account, which will join your previously created Credly account with your current new one. We can also head over to the applications tab. From here, you can add your social network links to your Credly profile, such as your LinkedIn, your Twitter and your Facebook. Next, we have organizations. Organizations on your auto accept list are allowed to issue badges and do not require you to manually accept them before appearing on your profile. Finally, we have profile. Here you can display your name, your middle name, your last name and write a small bio about yourself and your current position. We also have our Credly URL right here. This is your URL which others will be able to see once they access this link. And this is your official public Credly profile that displays all your badges and your achievements. We can go ahead and head back to the dashboard where our badges are displayed. Once you complete your online course, Credly will send you an email address to accept your badge. You need to ensure you click accept badge for the badge to appear on your Credly profile. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and click accept your badge. This will then open up another tab which will showcase the badge you have earned. 
and some additional details about the badge and the skills associated with that badge. To accept your badge, you want to go ahead and click where it says accept badge. This will then give you some badge settings, so you can either display this badge as public or private, and you have the option to auto accept future badges issued by um, the organization that you have uh, currently earned this badge from. You can go ahead and either select or deselect those and then click save settings. Congratulations, you have now accepted your digital badge. From here, you can share your achievement on social media, such as LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, or you can share it via email, public link, embed it into a website or download the badge image. So be sure to share your success with others. From here, we can go ahead and go back to our dashboard. And if you click on your profile right here, you will see that the new badge will appear on your list of earned digital badges, like so. This makes it easy for you to broadcast your achievements and it helps you develop your own professional brand whilst showcasing to the world your skills are current and verifiable. Others can also verify your badge by clicking on your badge and clicking on verify. This will then verify your badge and provide additional verification details about it, who it was verified by, who it was issued to and what date it was accepted on and which organization issued the badge. That is it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Be sure to leave a like and comment, share and subscribe if you found this tutorial useful. Thank you for watching.